Hey guys, it's me Jace and I'm back with another tutorial. This time, this is a bracelet that is a favorite of mine. It's very nice and it is called Amorosa. Okay, it's a very nice variation actually of the, I think it was the Chloe or Iris. <laughs> anyway, it's okay, I'm getting confused. But I did two tutorials um, that are somewhat similar. Um, it or the origin originally had these designs on the side and what happened was that late Luna came up with a variation it is beautiful I love it a lot and it is called Amorosa and I named the bracelet I helped name it I'm so happy this is so cute okay so anyway we are going to do something this is so simple it's just really a hook and what I did here is it's actually just three different types of colors I use the tie-dye for the sides and then I use white for the middle and then I use gold for the triple cap bands so this time i'm going to be using the same three colors there okay it's white white black and and uh, the gemstones purple okay the white will be my borders the black will be the middle the middle color and then the triple cap will be gemstones violet purple <laughs> Okay. Oh, this was created by Late Loomer again. In case I forgot, Late Loomer is right there. Follow her. This is the Amorosa bracelet by Late Loomer. Okay. So please make sure you make it because it is so nice. Okay. So let's start. Ta -da! Okay. We will start first by getting the color that will be our middle, which is for me. It um, it's going to be white. Oh no, sorry. It's white here, but for me, it's going to be black. So I'm going to get the black first my blacks two of them and then I will create a cap band okay and then the cap band and then I will put my first black on the hook and loop the cap band on it that's just the start just to get you going okay and here starts the pattern okay so you will start those side loops already okay so you get your two whites okay two white bonds okay white james bands okay <laughs> and then you put the white on your hook move it slightly to the middle and then you put the black over okay put the black over just like that okay and then when it's done that when you've done it already you get the white and you loop it you unloop the white see so you have a knot see that okay so you have a knot and then you close it and it's supposed to look like that okay see I will repeat for those who are not claro on what happened okay so let's go back to the black so you start the pattern with that black okay why am I covering it my background is white <laughs> there you go there Okay, and then you get your first white, put it on your hook, put the black over so you get the white under like that. Okay, and then you get this white, unloop it, unloop, and then close it with the other end. There, see? Very easy. Okay then you will do the other side if you don't have a hook an extra hook you can just hold it like that right then remove it from your hook and then turn it around so it becomes like that see okay then you do the other side put the white again and then you put the black over the white like that then you get the white pull it up and then unloop it okay unloop it and then close it so now now you have loops on both ends see okay there now you will get two more whites for the next step you hook the white and then you loop the first two or the first half so the first two you just put those two there 
and then you close it like that okay oh wait no 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 it's the same step it's just that it's supposed to be black okay, okay. sorry okay let's put it back okay keep forgetting my loops are white because I keep looking at this I keep I keep looking at my pattern here so I ended up with white again no it's black it's black it's supposed to be black so remove the two whites there get the two blacks so now you get your black it's just really about colors it depends on your color combination so you get the black and then you loop the two same step and I just change the color so you loop the two there so it's black okay of course our middle chain is black there okay now for switching if you still don't have if you have a hook like this which is only one end then you will have to transfer like that and then remove it just like that then you switch and you turn there see so you're on the other side already okay then you put the other black and then unloop the two again there so this is how it's supposed to look see okay that's how it's supposed to look and if ever just to show you again if ever you need to transfer all you need to do is to get your other hook put it in between and just transfer see it's not really that complicated but if you're lucky enough to have a double tip hook like this all you need to do is to just keep pushing it to the other end push it to the other end so you can do both sides and no problem okay now since we've done that we are now going to do to the we're now going to go to the triple cap okay our triple cap is going to be violet so what i'm going to do is I'm going to remove the first one, hold it in your hand, and then put your triple cap. One, two, three. Eep. Galing. One, two, three. Okay, and then you close it. Okay. Now, here's what I suggest. You push it to the other end. I will you get a stick. Even a barbecue stick will serve its purpose. Perfect already. So now that you have it there, your cap band is on this side already. So you will now remove the first band. Remove the first band and then push it to the end so that the two are at the end. And then you start moving the triple cap. So all you have to do is to just keep unlooping the three bands. Move the second one, then the third one. And it's already there. See? Very easy. And then you close it again. Ta-da! See? You got your triple cap in there. See? Okay, that's how it's supposed to look. Now we will add the two whites. That's where we go back to the white. So, the two whites are always our knots. Okay? Our knots landings. Okay? So for the first one, same as before, you put it on your hook, you transfer the black over, and then get that white under, unloop it, and then close it. See? And then you go to the other end again, or transfer if you need to. Okay, turn it around. Then, get your next white, do the same step. Put the black over the white. Get that white under. Unloop it. And close. There. Get on. See? And the last step is we close this set. Because that is your pattern. So you get your black. Unloop everything over to that black ta -da! see it's so pretty 
it's a pretty it's a pretty oh okay so there you have it so all you have to do is to just keep continuing the pattern okay let me double check this if you stop okay yeah it is correct wait is that correct ah yes okay so there really is two in each so you have one two one so you in each each of these links you always have two okay so anyway two of the curls <laughs> the knots the curls whatever they are <laughs> okay so how do you continue you just again add to that meaning get two more whites okay after you get the two whites you put your white over put the black over the white okay just get that white under there there okay there and then unloop it and close it again see okay and then go to the other end put the white over get that black over the white and then get that white under there and loop and then close tada see and here it is again the black for the chain okay so you get your black then loop these two just loop those two and then close it see and then you go to the other end get your black and loop the first two as well there close it again ta-da then comes in the triple cap band again so you remove the first one hold it you make your triple cap one two three close it okay and then you move to the other end just like that okay and when you're at the other end remove the first band and unloop the triple cap on it two and three okay see and then you close it again there voila see that's the second one cha -da. so cute like it a lot okay so we'll do it one more time so that you can get it so you get your first two whites again this is step one okay oh no wait I have to close it sorry yeah I have to get this white one first white oh no is that correct? Ha! <laughs> getting confused. Yeah. Have to loop it first. There. There you go. Yeah, there. So you have to close it like that. When you're done. See? Hmm, did I get confused? Haha, <laughs> I'm starting to wonder if I got confused. Wait, let me see. So now you have that. Mm. Yeah, I'm supposed to continue with one more here. So let me, sorry, let me take a step back and put them all back here. Because 
I got a little bit confused there. I was ending it already because I was thinking about the ending. So I got disoriented. So there. So now that you have those, I just realized you're supposed to continue with two more. So sorry, 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 sorry. So you're supposed to continue with two more whites. Then put the black over the white. Loop it over and close it. There, that's the correct one. Ha! I wonder if I felt I was missing something. There. <laughs> Just remember there's always two in each link. This is the first one, so it's only one. But when you start from here, there's always two. One, two, and then you close it, and then one, two again. So it's like that. Oh, no, I, I meant the whites. <laughs> I'm so disoriented today. I'm sorry. Okay. Then you loop it over, and then you close it. There. Then that's when you put the single black. Okay. I'm getting ahead of myself. So, so there. So now that you have two again. Two. Okay. Every time that you create this, it's followed by two whites. Then cap band and then two whites again. So you close it. Just like that. There. Then you start the pattern again. There. That's really your pattern. See? It's nicer on the other side because you can organize the triple cap. When you have your triple cap in a different, you know, like a not so nice situation, just get your hook and then you can just tug on it somehow like that to give it an even feel and then remove it again there see somehow it straightens out then it's a bit more nicer to look at okay that's the top part so if you want you can just keep continuing that okay let's do one more link i suppose okay so when you end with this single band you always start with two whites first so you get your two whites put it on your hook place the black over the white and then grab that white so it's a bit tight so you really have to use two two hands okay unloop the white and loop that and then close it oops twisted it got twisted wait there you go then then unloop then look close is it twisted yeah no no it's not okay so there then you go to the other side get that white again put the black over the white and then pull the white under that then unloop it and close see after the two whites it's followed by two blacks you close the links just like that see okay if you don't want to move it to the other end just put your black against the first two remove everything and then catch that one black and then loop the other two on it and then put them all back I always say close it okay so there you're now ready for the triple cap so you remove the first band hold on to it oops remove the first band remove it hold on to it and then create your triple cap one two three then you return it then you go and push it to the other end okay remove the first band and then unloop the triple cap one two three and then you close it see 
very nice okay then as a final step you take two more of your whites then you do the same step for the knot so you put the black over the white get that white from under unloop it and then close it then go do the other side hook the white put the black over the white and loop it then close it and your final step is you look loop everything on a, your chain your linking band which is the black so you get all those put them over and voila it's done see that's amorosa okay so what you do when you're going to organize it you just have to flatten the triple cap bands that you have there okay and just balance it out by tugging on it once in a while because sometimes one is tighter than the other or it's just not properly looped so you have to tug tug once in a while there so triple caps should be organized so that it's nice when you take a shot of it okay so that's it that is your oops <laughs> That is your Amorosa bracelet. Okay. So, this is the Amorosa bracelet created by Late Luma. Okay. So, when you make the bracelet, please don't forget to hashtag Jace Alvarez, Amorosa bracelet, and Late Luma. Okay. Because we would love to see your renditions. So, if you have any comments, comment in the box below and please like the video so that people will see the tutorial and i'll see you in my next tutorial hope you enjoyed bye